All right, crazy deals and sales family. I've got a pretty great Dollar General haul for January 11th, if I must say so myself. So before we even get started, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are not part of the crazy deals and steals family, go ahead and subscribe now. Um, we're also got our, well, we also got our Instagram, Crazy Deals and Steals Instagram up and running. F Academy is in charge of that. So if you have not started following us on Instagram, now is the time to do it. She's posting lots of deals that I just simply can't make videos on throughout the week. So you want to definitely subscribe here on YouTube and also check us out on Instagram. The information for that is right here. And now that you've got that information, let's get started. All right, you guys, I've got a haul video for Dollar General for the deals January 11th and I made out very well. And I've got a funny ass story to tell you guys about my cashier today. Quite amusing. So we're going to talk about that. And I did three transactions. You see three receipts. Um, my out of pocket was great. Very low. Uh, lots of great deals. And we're going to get into it one transaction at a time. So this is what I paired up in my very first transaction at Dollar General today, January 11th. I've got two of the Centrums. And you know, we've got two $4 digital coupons. One of them is off a 60 count or more, and one of them is just $4 off any Centrum product. We've also got printable ones um, that you can print, the same exact coupon, okay? So these are $5 a piece. That put me at $10 for those two items. And then I grabbed one of the Arm & Hammer that's on sale for $4.95. And I grabbed two Cottonelle wipes. I've got someone coming to get these in a bundle today. These are two for $5. And then I grabbed two of these Cottonelle packs. They are $5 a piece. So, you know, at Dollar General, a lot of times, um, well, it's been like this for quite a while. When you spend $15 on select paper products, you're going to instantly save $3. So I've got five, 10, $15 in paper products. Um, so that took off $3 off my total in instant savings. So all these items together before that instant savings was, let's see, 10, 15, 20, 25, um, 29. We've got $29.45 in products. The three off 15 instant savings came off and then the $5 off $25 general store purchase came off. And then for the Cottonelle products, I used paper coupons and my cashier was insistent that because the coupon said limit of one per purchase, I could only use one um, of the coupons, even though it didn't say limit of two per shopping trip or limit of two per transaction or nothing like that, just said limit of one per purchase. Now, if you're a couponer, you know, mostly all coupons say that. That means if you purchase one item, you can only use one manufacturer coupon on each item, right? But since you're purchasing two, that's two purchases, you can use two coupons, but she was not budging. She read every single coupon I gave her, like the full description. Um, and it was kind of a mess. So I'm going to talk more about that with the Lysol deal. I've got a funny, funny thing to tell you guys about that. So anyway, she would only take off one of my Cottonelle coupons and one of my wife's coupons. So my total out of pocket should have been an extra dollar fifty less, but whatever. All right. So I had 50 cent paper or, um, newspaper coupons for these from the one five smart source. And then the dollar newspaper coupon for this from the one five smart source. Then I used two digital coupons both for the Centrum, okay? And then a $2 digital for the arm and hammer. So my out-of-pocket should have been around $8.50, nine bucks. However, she would only take off one of each of these coupons right here. So I actually paid, let's look, $10.95 out-of-pocket. Um, but right now with Fetch, um, let me tell you guys about Fetch real quick. So right now with Fetch, I'm going to submit 2,500 points for the Cottonelle toilet paper, all right? So I'm going to get back $2.50 for the toilet paper on Fetch. Then I'm also going to get back 1,000 points for the Cottonelle wipes. So I'm going to get back a dollar for purchasing these plus a 500-point bonus for purchasing both. So an extra $0.50 cents for those. So that means I'm getting back $2.50 plus $0.50, that's $3, plus $0.50, cents, that's $3.50 on Fetch. Um, so really my out of pocket would drop down to about $7 for these items. Not bad, but I've got an even better transaction coming up next. Okay, for the second transaction for these cutesy pootsy little items right here, the snuggle is on sale again, two for $8. And we've got a $4 off two digital coupon. No issues with that this week. We have had issues with that in the past, but none for these two items, the 120 count dryer sheets today. 
All right, then I grabbed this Air Wig Warmer for $1.65, and I've got a paper coupon for a free Air Wig Warmer for that from the 1.5 Smart Source, but that coupon only takes off up to $1.50, so I did pay $0.15 cents for this. Um, then we've got the Arm & Hammer again, but this is a 32-pack. Guys, these are the larger sizes, okay? So make sure you grab these today if you're able to, all right? Then I've got two Right Guard deodorants. They are $2.25 a piece. Um, that puts us at $4.50 for two, but we've got a $4 off two digital, making these 25 cents a piece. Then I also grabbed another Centrum. The energy kind because the real Deborah, aka Slim Shady, said that I need to grab these because I'm um, doing a whole lot with my life on a daily basis. So I'm like, let me take Deborah's advice. So I grabbed one of these. These are $5 and we've got a $4 digital that will attach to that. And then I grabbed one of the Crest 3D White from the dollar aisle. Your dollar Crest coupon will attach to the Radiant Mint Crest 3D White, making it completely free. Okay, so these items right here, before coupons um, and before tax, we're at um, about $25, maybe $25.10 even, okay? Then we stacked on the five off $25 general in-store purchase. The $4 for the Centrum, that's either a printed one or you can use the one digital one in your app. $4 off two for the Right Guard Digital. And then we've got a Crest $1 coupon for that one, that's a digital. $4 off two for the Snuggle Digital. A $1.50 newspaper coupon for the Airwick, which took off, um, it says a free Airwick warmer. However, it only takes off up to $1.50. So it took off $1.50 for that. Then I had a $2 Arm & Hammer digital for these awesome laundry packs, okay? Um, so, after all was said and done, I paid $3.50 out of pocket plus tax. Not bad at all. Awesome little transaction right here. I would do this transaction over 100 times because these are gonna sell in bundles. This is gonna sell in a bundle these items are going to sell in bundles as well. So this will be a great money maker for transaction now for, for me. Quite amusing transaction, all right? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Ignorant cashiers are just ugh. Anyway, um all right, so I grabbed an Arm and Hammer again for $4.95 on sale this week, and I grabbed, let's see, six Lysol products. They are on sale still three of them for five dollars so i grabbed three right here for five dollars then i grabbed these three for five dollars so that's ten bucks for the lysol okay there's also a two dollar off ten dollar lysol instant savings that came off with no issues all right then i grabbed two centrums again used two digital coupons these are five dollars a piece like i had mentioned and i used two four dollar digital coupons i grabbed this little baby as a 50 cent filler item um, and then I grabbed this Airwick warmer again, $1.65 for that. So before coupons, I was at $27.10. So that five off $25 in your own store purchase came off. That $2 off 10 for the Lysol instant savings came off. And a $2 digital for the Arm & Hammer. The $4 digitals for the Centrum. Um, the dollar and well, the free Airwick paper coupon from the 1.5 Smart Source took off $1.50 off this total. Now, for the Lysol, you got to pay attention because those coupons are a limit of two, okay? So I used two paper coupons for the toilet bowl cleaner from the 1-5 Smart Source. I used two paper coupons for the all-purpose cleaner from the 1-5 Smart Source. Then I used a 50-cent printable off any Lysol product for this baby right here. And then a 50-cent digital Lysol product in my Dollar General account for this baby right here. So that way, I was... You, I was still doing um, what the manufacturer wanted me to do with those coupon limits. Now, my cashier, I've never seen her in the store before, but she was reading every single line on the coupon description for every single coupon. So when it came to the Lysol, she had a big, huge fiasco with the Lysol, right? Um, and she tried to tell me that I couldn't use two Lysol paper coupons for items that looked the same so like she so when she started scanning my coupons i started getting the bags off the little rack and putting them in my cart and she made me get every item out of the bag 
after it was in my cart while she was scanning my coupons and she tried to say I couldn't use the 50 cent newspaper coupons for these two Lysol because these two Lysol look the exact same. I'm like, even if, what? That doesn't even make sense. But even if they do look the exact same and it's the exact same product, it's a limit of two per shopping trip. So what does it matter if they look the same? Like I got this one, I'm like, I like, got this one too. So that one's a different color. So is that okay or no? Or like, what's the deal here? She went on and on and on and on about that shit. The coupon scanned like no problem. Like lady, get off my ass, please. Like you don't know what you're talking about. Um, so anyway, after all the coupons came off, I ended up paying $5.60 out of pocket for all these items, which is another transaction I would do over a hundred times because this is going to end up being a money maker for me once I bundle these up and resell them. This is a big Arm & Hammer, you guys. I know I mentioned that earlier, but this is a 50 load Arm & Hammer, all right? And then the Lysol products sell well in bundles. And then of course the vitamins, those are cool. Um... And this little filler item I'll obviously keep for myself. So let me know in the comments what you guys got today at Dollar General. Did you go to Dollar General? Today is a day that you definitely want to go, in my opinion. All right, Crazy Deals and Steals family. Now, we are at the green screen, which means you're going to see things that are coming up next for the Crazy Deals and Steals channel. Um, you definitely want to check out all of these deals videos. There will be Google Docs in the description of all three of these videos. So if you still haven't made it to Dollar General yet and you need some transactions, a Google Doc, whatever, be sure to check out that Dollar General deals video. Also, the CBS and Walgreens deals videos will be linked somewhere right here as well. And be looking forward to my CBS and Walgreens haul videos to be posted early Sunday morning before you guys even head to the store. So be sure to hit that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.